Hey everyone, welcome to system test nine of board number one. I'm Exit Sign 250. Let me show you what I got and we'll get this test rolling. Uh, so for the Firelight MS9200 UDLS system, the devices I got for pull stations, uh, we have a Silent Night SD500 PS, I think is the model. Uh, pretty cool pull station. I really like the dual action flap on it. This one was addressable, working with addressable Silent Night panels. However, it was converted to run conventionally. Over here, we have the Firelight BG12LX addressable pull station. You can see it's pulling away. Of course, the panel, and you can see it is all normal. Two Firelight monitor modules. And for notification, we have the Wheelock RSS. This particular one is rebranded by Gamewell, as you can see. It's the same thing as a Wheelock RSS, just Gamewell put their name on it. I'm not sure what Gamewell's model is. It's probably some long number of characters. And this one is set to 15 Candela. I realize it looks like it's set to 75, but it is 15. Over here, we have the Wheelock EHD-01 horn strobe. Um, this is fixed 110 Candela. There's the Wheelock name. And this one is on continuous. Moving up here for a ceiling mount notification, we have a EST Genesis horn strobe. Uh, this is on code three. I really like the appearance of these devices. They look slick in my opinion. Um, and uh, it is on 15 Candela, so pretty cool. Over here we have the Firelight SD355 photoelectric addressable smoke detector. And that's about it for this system. Moving along to the MS5ED, of course the panel, and the Firelight ANN80 enunciator for the panel. For pole stations we have the Notifier BNG1. I like this pole station. I love the silver on it. And then we have the Siemens uh, dual action pull station. This one again was addressable like this guy, but it, I converted it um, to be conventional. Um, again, because this one would have only worked with Siemens addressable panels. So yeah, pretty cool pull. I don't know what the model is. I think it's like MDF or something like that, but we'll, we'll check that out when I open it. The Simplex key switch for notification, we have the Gentex GX90. Uh, fixed 110 Candela strobe. This one is set to code 3. It sounds a lot like a smoke alarm. Over here we have a uh, System Sensor Spectral Advanced Chime strobe. I think the model CH something. I don't really know my models sometimes. Um, again, chime strobe. I have it set to one second repeating chime and I think I have it on high volume and I have the Candela set for 75. Smoke detectors. We have this System Sensor i3 and the system sensor 2400, kind of old versus new. Um, so yeah, that's everything that's going on. I guess we'll begin by pulling the Silent Night pull station and seeing these devices go off. So let's do it. Here we go, lift and pull. So the system silenced and you saw it said pull station left, which is that pull station. Here it is audible silence for both the RSS and the EHD-01, not the Genesis though because it is two wire. Go ahead and close that panel and lock it. Now we will pull a pull station on this system. I'm thinking let's do the Siemens pull station. Push here, then pull down. So acknowledge and silence through the enunciator, and you can see pull station right, which is that pull station. All right, so both are in audible silence. Go ahead, and I'm actually gonna get my magnet and test this smoke detector via a magnet test. Well, you saw it said SD355 smoke detector. Let's see if I can scroll back, maybe. There it was. Smoke photo SD355. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm going to get my, let's see the model is SD500PS. I believe that's what I said. Let's go ahead and stick the key in. If I can, turn it, close it, and flip this dual action flat down. Okay, we will now stick in the firelight key, open the panel, press reset. And now this will do its thing. Let's go ahead and reset this pull station, and then we will reset the system. So this one takes a hex key, you open it up. The model is HMSD. Yeah, I was nowhere close. Knew it was something like that. There we go, it's all locked. Set that back, and let's reset from the enunciator. I have a spare firelight key in that panel to do something like this. There we go, resetting, and we'll stick this back here and shut the panel. Let's try a little experiment. So let's see which one will activate faster, the new smoke detector or the old one. I'm personally a fan of the System Sensor 2400s. I think they're very sensitive, which is a good thing. And I like the design of them, although I do like the System Sensor i3s too. So let's flip this switch, which will link both of these panels together. So if one goes off, the other one goes off. And let's see which smoke detector activates first. So I have some Smoke Centurion, smoke detector tester, basically smoke in a can. And I'm gonna spray both of these and let's see which one goes off. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it'll be the i3 because it is newer, but I do think these are pretty good. So maybe this one will activate right after it, but let's see what happens. Okay, you see it says the MS9200 DDLS slash Teskey. If you know I didn't use it, it's just on the same zone. Activated. Um, however, you can see two-wire smoke detector right, which was the 2400 activated first, and then the I3 activated right after that. So, see, I do like these smoke detectors a lot. Um, very sensitive, very nice. But I still have a place in my heart for the I3s. And then, of course, um, this activated the MS9200 DDLS and you can see the monitor module that actually monitors both this pull station and that panel. Notice this panel went to alarm. So it activated telling this panel that that one's an alarm. So this one went off and you can see it says monitor MS5ED. Um, so let's go ahead and air out these smoke detectors. And you can see I'm getting a trouble now because well, we can check it out. If I scroll here, trouble to our detector left, open a fault because I removed it. So air it out a little bit. I think it's ready to be put back up. And unfortunately I can't do it with a smoke detector because it's direct wire, but uh, I hope it'll be aired out. So this part's always the hardest, um, having to reset these panels at the same time. I'll uh, actually, we will reset from uh, MS5ED. Press reset, press reset. That's about it for System Test 9 of Board 1. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. I had a lot of fun. Tell me if you thought the i3 was going to activate first. I, Again, I thought it was, but 2400 is a pretty reliable detector. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video.